This video demonstrates how to fit an Aurora series column to your UH PLC system for Brooker captive spray saws using a Brooker column toaster. The following LCMS platform technologies are compatible with this video. Please refer to our user guide for recommended configurations for each UH PLC system. Listed here are the products featured in this video. Carefully remove the Aurora CSI protective cap. Insert the Aurora CSI fitting into the CSI probe. Use a twisting motion to prevent pinching of the rubber seal. Remove the protective plug from the Nano Zero Union. Feed the Aurora column through the rear metal housing. Reassemble the CSI probe by screwing in both screws, ensuring that the rubber seal is in place between the metal housing and the Aurora CSI fitting. Feed the Aurora column with Nano Zero fitting through the CSI housing. Screw the CSI probe insert into the housing. The CSI housing is now ready to connect to your LCMS system. Retract the column heater from the captive spray source. Insert the CSI housing into the source. Press with a small amount of pressure and tighten the screw until finger tight. Using a gloved finger, block the air inlet and monitor the fore pressure. The fore vacuum needs to drop to below 3E to the minus 1 millibar within 10 seconds to be considered usable. If it is not sealed, try refitting it before replacing the rubber seals. Move the column heater in front of the captive spray source. Holding the Nano Zero with a spanner, tighten the Nano Viper fitting finger tight until you reach a firm stop. Operation of the column with an under-tightened fitting can result in a fall in performance that cannot be recovered with additional tightening. For 25 cm and 15 cm Aurora columns, curl the column inside the heating plate and hold it in position by placing it under the holding arm. Tighten the earth screw onto the Nano Zero to ensure that the Nano Zero is grounded and held in position. For the 5 cm Aurora column, place the column directly into the heater recess. Place the holding arm onto the Nano Zero to ensure that the Nano Zero is grounded and held in position. To sufficiently ground the 5 cm column, you will need to replace the existing plastic arm with a conductive metal arm that is supplied by Iron Optics. Place the lid back on the heater. Install the filter into the CSI housing air inlet. The column is now installed in the heater and ready for operation.